Well, what is up everyone? So uh, today is a video that I think a lot of you guys, or at least the guys that have been around for a long time, have been waiting for for like three years, which is crazy. Today, I am finally throwing my J-Spec front bumper on my black Z32. Something that should have been done when I initially built this car. <laughs> if you guys don't know, since they made these cars for so many years, it's basically a facelift front end, kind of like the Type-X on the S13 or the Koki on the S14. The Z got a fancy little bumper and it looks really damn good. I've wanted to put it on for years and I finally got it painted. The only thing that was holding it back after it got painted was the car needed a full color correction because the paint was so bad and RJ spent all week doing it and got the paint looking beautiful again. You could see all that beautiful metallic in the black. And now it is ready for its freshly painted kit. We got side skirts still in type threes. We got rear spats and uh, it's gonna bring the whole car together. Very excited for this. It has been a long time coming. So before we start taking this thing apart, one thing I gotta mention, at the end of this video, we have a surprise. Stevie and I, as you guys know, we're always playing around with the Talk To Me Nice Studios. We always, well, we make, we, we make a lot of goofy stuff for fun and we have a new song and we filmed an entire music video to go with it and we're gonna put it at the end of this video. Well, we have a t-shirt and a poster that we will be releasing with all of that. So stay tuned for the end of the video so you guys can see our new music video that we just had way too much fun making and the new t-shirt and poster that goes along with it, which is our first poster. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. But for now, let's get the existing front bumper off and get it ready to accept the j -Spray. So not only do we have a new bumper style, but we also have fresh paint, which is nice because the old bumper was super faded and it kind of brought down the rest of the car pretty bad. Donnie, new bumper's going on. Exciting stuff. Three years in the making. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. There's a lot of bumper brackets that Nissan uses in this bumper, right? So this is all the bumper brackets that I pulled out of the old bumper and I'm gonna hope that it fits in the new, new bumper. All right, so test number one, does the main beam fit? Oh, look, I think it fits. What's good? Holds the whole bumper up. No yeah, bumper sag. There. I've never seen a Z32 that had a saggy bumper. Exactly. S chassis? Yeah, that's a, yeah. That's a whole different story. <laughs> <laughs> we have this little sandwich plate right here, which I believe the nose panel kind of slips into, so we definitely need this piece. And then we have this bracket right here, which sandwiches it between the fender, right? So that slips right there, and that one's the same, which is very, very good news. Wow, boom, just like that. We have the main side bracket, which slips right here and seems to be the same. And that seems to be right. All the brackets are on, so now we gotta hope that the rebar is the same for the front bumper. Big moment, Donnie. I'm happy you're here for it. It's been a long time coming. This thing has been lingering for a year. It died loose in the life, so it There it is. There we go. It matches pretty good. It's still a little bit darker, but uh, it is fresh paint, so that's good news. That is really good news. <laughs> Dude, it's time to pull it on and it's like messing with my head because it looks like a different car. I've been looking at the same car for so long and it's so weird. Oh, that looks so good. It matches pretty good. It looks so good. It looks awesome. Long time coming, huh? Oh, man. Oh, it's so good. <sighs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm honestly not good. I'm not good because the Red Z has always been my favorite. And you gotta this, go this, live. This, this, the front bumper alone is changing my perspective. I never heard RJ make those noises before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the original bumper lights do fit, which is really nice, but the corner lights are actually different. They're smaller and they're smoked instead of completely clear, which is kind of cool. I usually don't like smoke stuff, but when it's OEM, it kind of looks high end. So. Yeah. Plug is different, so I gotta order the plug right here. So you're just mocking them up right now. Yeah, these take two seconds to pull in and out, so. Look at that, fits just like OEM. Who would've thought? Are you gonna get the Smokies right here or not? No, this is Those like what just, it's, That's yeah. the vibe? That's the vibe. Damn, dude, that looks so good. Unfortunately, I don't have the grill insert, so it looks a little empty, but I'll get that on the list of stuff I gotta order. You know, I had three years to do this, but better late than never. Better late than never. Why did it take three years to do this? Yeah, yeah politics. Wow. Politics. Politics. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is clear though. That's perfect. All right, let's back up. Hold up, hold up. RJ, wipe, wipe the fingerprints off real quick. Ta-da! 
There it is. Yeah, it actually matches really good. I was so worried that if we didn't blend the front end, it wouldn't match. But dude, like, I mean, at least in the low light. Because it's not that bright here, it will spot the heck on. That looks great. It's nice because it has a more aggressive edge, but it still keeps that really round Z32 look. It doesn't, uh, dude, I don't know who was designing stuff for the 90s for Nissan, but they killed it. Like all OEM aero from the 90s is just so good. They need to call them back up. They need to call them back up, right. that's for sure. All right, so since we don't have side screws and stuff like that, it, it honestly like fits the body pretty well. I mean, like, dude, stand right here. Okay, zoom in on that, Steve. It's probably so hard to tell in video because it's so dark in here, but like, it modernizes the chassis, but it makes it look 10 years new. It honestly does. It looks absolutely beautiful. And this is the image I've had since like day one. It's like. Looks like a Lamborghini Diablo. No, a Lamborghini Diablo looks like this. Ah! <laughs> I'm telling you, once the side switch on, it's gonna be missing something. But I have that something that's missing. The front lip, exciting stuff. So this adds that last little bit on the bottom of the bumper that it just like really needs to make it look perfect. Okay, so get the edge around the back. You got that? Clicks right in. Yeah. yeah, come on, look how nice that is. Does a lot. Yeah, come on, back up. Dude, that makes it so good. Oh, yeah, I like it, Jim. Dude, it's so beautiful. RJ just turned into this huge chemical guy overnight. Shh, don't tell the government. <laughs> So these are still in type three side skirts and they are made of polyurethane, so they're very malleable. Uh, when these things sit for a long time, they'll get distorted. You gotta heat them back up to get them to actually mold to the chassis. I've had these on there before. We're gonna get some heat in these things, make them a little bit softer, and uh, hopefully they slide right on. All right, so these fit really, really nice. Like, see how it conforms to the fender? Mm -hmm. The whole thing is since they are poly and they wanna move, you gotta make sure you secure them very well. So we're gonna secure the ends and then probably double side tape this right here. So you guys know I love these black body fastening screws. They just look good. Mm -hmm. um, and I already have these done up, so should just. Nice, nice. The side screws are that little bit of body load that the Z's really need because they look a little tall in the center. So I have like side splitters on my red Z like underneath these. And I think I wanna get these for these. Yeah, Cause with it. the front lip, I think it makes the front end look a little bit lower. It's kind of mm -hmm. nice when there's a lip kit all around, so exciting stuff. Look at that, thing just clicks right in. I love that. Take it. Skirts do, like if you have to get one arrow piece for this car, get skirts. It's like the one that does the most. Definitely needs it. Love it. Skirts are on. We just need some double-sided tape. Oh yeah. Get skirts. Definitely get skirts. <laughs> now I have my little rear spats here, which are kind of to help bring the body shape back up, right? Just kind of clicks right in there. And it, it looks like a glorified mud flap, to be honest. Mm -hmm. This is going straight in the plastic. Uh, we're gonna mount two here, mm -hmm. two underneath, and all we could find long enough was silver. So we're gonna use silver for now. So if you're just using a screw, as long as you use a small enough chaser bit, it'll thread right into the plastic, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, make sure you don't screw too big of a hole, or you might get screwed. You screw yourself. Boom, just like that. How are things on there? Going nowhere. Looks good. There's a little bit of YouTube magic on this side. Boom, and it's on. And you know, it, it's a little bit. It, it does a little thing. What do you, what do you got? You guys huffing paint? You want to huff the paint? Just when I thought I was ready to put this thing on the ground and just enjoy it, Ant made the comment about possibly t test fitting the Meisters that are on the 33 onto the Black Z. And I've never thought about doing that. But I know if I put them on, I'll never take them off. So we're gonna test fit one. We're gonna test fit one. A little tease for Jimmy. We know it's gonna look so good. And then there's gonna be another set ordered tonight. <laughs> yeah, shut up. So these are the Workmeisters, if you don't know. And these things are one of my favorite wheels ever produced. They just honestly look good on everything. And these are the perfect specs on here for a Z32 also, so. Oh man, dude. These are gonna look too good on that car. You're never gonna take them off, huh? Nah, nah. It doesn't hurt to check this out, right? Oh man. Dude. Oh man. Damn, that, that just changed a... the whole look of the car now. <sighs> man, I could take some camber out and then like, 
You knew they would. Oh man, dude. It just fits the car better now because it's not such a bright wheel. The car is such a dark car. Like, look at it. You like that? Mm. He's not gonna like it. That looks good. The gray looks better than the white. White is very playful. Silver, very classy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how the rear fits. It should fit pretty damn good. Oh yeah, look, the rear is perfect. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. It makes the car look so much cleaner. Okay, just sink that in for a second. Dangerous. Be... I'm not mad about it. Or just mad I put scratches in the bumper cleaning it all. There's gonna be no paint left when you're done with this thing. The paint's gonna look even better. What are you talking about? <laughs> Somebody had to scratch their brand new bumper. It'd be like that sometimes. Uh, okay. Ooh. Effortless. Fitment's not horrible for just sending it on it. Hold on. I'm gonna roll it back. Wow, this car is. Wow, that's a lot of camera. On. God damn. This side, why does this side fit so much different than the other side? There's more camera on the other side for sure. I'll tell you what, that fitment's really hot on this side. <laughs> Look at that. That looks so good. Oh yeah. That's it. This side looks good. Like look at the look at the USDN driver's side. This is it, Tony. Damn, it looks icy. It does look good. Side splitters and a sun. Because now the front lip looks lower than the side skirts. Do the side splitters, it makes the whole car look super low all around. Boom. Mona Lisa. Mm. Alright, let's pull it in the other shot because uh it's a lot brighter in there. <laughs> God <Maybe>. damn. <laughs> It looks like a whole different car. I'm telling you, if it had the side splitters, game over. I'm gonna stop talking about that now, but. We don't have them. We don't have them, just. This like, is the view right here. The car looks so nice now. Before RJ color corrected it, it looked like it was totaled. Like it looked like it was washed with a scotch bright. Now it looks absolutely beautiful. It's insane. And you know what the best part is, Tony? There's an SR20 in it. <laughs> <laughs> with a G-Series. All right, we've been standing here for the last probably 15 minutes just talking about how freaking cool this looks. Look at it with the hood open with the SR gleaming. Oh, dude, this car is insane. It's a show car. It is absolutely nuts. Oh my God, look at this thing. I just want to like bubble wrap it and put it in my living room. What a cool car, dude. What a cool car. Oh, fuck. Jimmy, you know what fuck. It looks so, looks so fucking insane. What's up, ceramic coat it? Best thing you could, I have the ceramic coat. I'm not doing it because I'm bad at it. Okay. The best thing you could do for this car is drive it. Yeah, I know. Look at it. She deserves it, dude. This it looks. She deserves attention. It's got it. Oh, man, this thing. It's so fucking this cool. This thing has come a long way. This is my first import car, which is funny to think about. I never even thought about it. Stevie said something. I was like, yeah, actually, this is my first import. Wow. It's just, I can't stop. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Holy shit. RJ trying to take out a mortgage to buy it right now. I don't need to take out a mortgage. I got the cash at home. <laughs> Honey, you look miserable. I'm having a great time. No. Bro, he's standing. I, I called him, made sure. <laughs> All right. You look good, you Donald. Got, you guys got to nice. come over because it looks fucking insane. You put it on, like on the ground? Yeah. You put it on the ground. That's yeah. a big deal. Oh, wow. Oh shit, you changed the fucking wheels! Oh my, it's a different car. It's a different car. It's these a are, different... I, these are my favorite wheels on the planet. Honestly. They're looking at everything. They're my favorite wheels ever made, pretty sure. Man, that's... That's good. I, I like... Good I stuff. I like that, I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's better. Bumper's... Yeah. Bumper fits nice. Oh yeah, baby. Yep. Different, man. Wait. He needs a double-sided tape, James. We talked about that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Get one of those bubbles. Put it in a bubble, like <laughs> capsule. <laughs> That's sick. Nah, it I'll be, needs to be driven, DJ. I'll be Make the first one. Over. Let go it looks like a Rari. Yeah. Like if you squint, kind of looks like yeah. older Rari.
completely obsessed with how that came out. Um, it is it is beautiful, and I cannot wait to drive that thing. But before I ramble on any more about how much I love it, we're gonna skip to the surprise we have at the end of this video. A new Talk to Me Nice Studios production. <laughs> so we have our new Talk to Me Nice Studios posters. I don't want to spoil these. You got to check these out on the website. It'll all make sense in just a minute. In a second. But uh, we also have our new T-shirt right here. This is a Talk to Me Nice Studios band tee, our very first one. Yes. <laughs> so guys, go on the website shopjimio.com. Check these things out. We're gonna put the T-shirts on a pre-order. So it's gonna take like two-ish weeks to get it. So be patient with us. But we'll try our best to get it out as fast as we can. And uh, besides that, no further ado, we got the world premiere. OG Larry, Jimmy Mang, the new video. We had a blast shooting this. Hope you guys have a blast watching this. Talk to me nice. 